Good morning. It's not morning anymore. <laughs> It's 12 o'clock, it's 12.30, but I just wanted to pop on and um, talk about this situation called COVID-19. <laughs> so basically, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. Um, I know all of us are struggling in this time. The way, the way my job worked out was, um, you know, at first they told us, I, I, I don't know if you watched my other, um, my other video, my makeup tutorial, but I mentioned that I work for Dry Bar. Dry Bar is a salon where you only do blowouts, you only style hair, you don't do any cut or color. This virus started spreading. It started out with just cutting our hours. So I went from five days to two days, um, but we didn't even get through that work week. Basically what happened was I worked my first shift that week and then that night I came home and they closed the salon, which I agree was the right thing to do. Um, but that leaves me without income, right? Um, obviously Trump is sending out checks to everybody, um, but you know, it's taken a long time and I still don't have it. <laughs> but basically what um, the owner of our shop suggested was to just go ahead and file for unemployment. But the unemployment website has been crazy. Luckily, I filed before she even sent that message. So I, I got in, I, I did it, the website didn't crash on me. Cool, right? Well, I have no idea how unemployment works. I have never in my life had to file. So when this happened, I filed and it gave me like a suggestion of time when to log back in. Didn't really know what that meant. Um, I did notice that when you file for unemployment, you have to be looking for work in order for them to pay you because obviously like they don't want you to just like sit on your butt and do nothing, right? Yes, I, I looked for a few jobs, um, trying to maybe find something to work from home during this pandemic. I don't know if I'll have my job when I come back because the, our owner did say like, we're not sure if everybody can have their jobs depending on the economy. But as of right now, I'm like technically, actually I'm not employed. Anyway, <laughs> I've been talking to some of the girls from work through this group chat and I had no idea that I had to go in and claim weeks. We had a deadline for this morning at 7 a.m. because the site was closed from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. this morning, um, last night to this morning. And so we all were like, okay, we have to wake up at 7 a.m. because all week we have not been able to log in to claim because it's crashing because literally everybody is filing for unemployment, so. So that's what I did. I woke up 6.30, got up, had breakfast, and I was able to claim. So that's good. And they, I think what they did in this update last night was added the COVID-19 because it asks you after the section that asks you if you asks you, asks you <laughs> if you're filing due to COVID-19. So I was able to check yes on that. So. We'll see what comes out of that. That being said, I was still so tired after that. Like I just need to sleep. I went back to bed and woke up at 12 o'clock. Okay, so I've made my coffee in my Elsa and Anna mug. I feel like I'm always showing you guys my mugs. I love coming out on my balcony and having my coffee. Usually I am accompanied by a kitty cat. That is Binksy. Actually, his name is Binks, but I call him Binksy. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee out on the porch before I really like go dive into homework.
What are you guys doing? Things, why you look so sad? Hey guys, so I finished my homework for the day. Um, luckily, my classes this week have been really chill, so I actually had more of a relaxing day um, overall, just like didn't have to think too much, which was, which was a nice change of pace. Um, by the way, this is Simba. Say hello, Simba. <laughs> so my husband's actually like super tired, so he went to bed early, so that gives me time to have a little bit of me time. Even though I've been home all day by myself, um, I was doing homework, so I didn't really feel like I had me time. So I'm going to do my nails because these nails look so bad. I already took off as much of the gel as I can. Can we just talk about how sad it is that we can't go get our nails done? But it is for the safety of everybody, so I'm okay with it. So I had to take off my gel polish and my gel nails last week and I couldn't get all of the gel nail off, but I just filed them down as much as I could and put this polish on, so it's already chipping. So I'm gonna try to fix these up and um, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Also, can we like talk about how this quarantine is a really good opportunity to just give yourself some self-love and some self-care? Please share with me what you guys are doing, how you guys are coping with all of this, and what you guys are doing to take care of yourself in this pandemic. Maybe we can share some ideas and just spread some love in this time. Just share like ways to take care of yourself with each other so that other people can maybe take those into consideration and just do little things to make you feel better. So I am letting my nails dry and I don't know why because I slept in today but it's only 10 30 and I honestly my cat is sneez sneezing bless you Simba are you okay my goodness anyway so it's only 10.30 and I, I feel like it's like midnight. I'm gonna go to bed shortly. Don't know exactly when. But here's some kitty cat love for you guys. Oh, My nails are dry enough to at least pet my kitty. Oh my God. I can't resist that face. Good night. Love you guys.